All right, people, welcome back. More Fake Card Friday. So this person decided to make a field spell for Light Swarns because they don't have one of those. Oh, wait, they do. <laughs> uh, Rumble Light, but it, it's kind of booty. It's like when you mill card or card, you, it gains a counter. Or your Light Swarm monsters gain 100 attack for each. Eh. And then when it's destroyed, you remove two counter. So not the greatest of field spells. You really don't see it that often. You probably didn't even know that they had a field spell because no one plays it unless they're like a super scrub with Light Swarms. And that deck already is not a very skillful deck. That being said, this person decided to go ahead and make a different fell spell for Light Swarms, and we're going to be looking at this card, of course, comparing it to Realm of Light and seeing if it was actually a card would Light Swarms play it. So this is Synodal of the Light Swarm. Uh, like I said, fell spell that reads, This card is sent to grab by the effect of a Light Swarm card. You can add it to your hand. All right, well, uh, of course, this does not include Charge of Light Brigade or uh, Solar Recharge, so... You know, if you mill it with one of those two cards, you're not getting it back, but, you know, you do have your Ride and your Lila and all of them, so maybe they'll go ahead and mill it, and then if it is milled, you get to go ahead and add to your hand. Not bad. So, uh, it's a great way to uh, make sure that you get your filled spell, because Realm of Light didn't have that. You mill Realm of Light, it's gone. <laughs> and uh, that's one of the things that hurts Light Sworn so much, is that uh, those specific cards that you need, I mean, there's just a chance that you're just going to mill them, and that's why Light Swords have such a hard time siding, because they side against you, and then while they may get their side cards, there's a good chance that they're just going to go ahead and mill them to the graveyard, so. <laughs> anyway. Uh, the effect reads, once per turn, you may activate one of these effects. The first effect, special summon a level 4 or lower light swan monster from your graveyard, it cannot attack. Uh, it cannot declare a attack? I guess it would be an attack this turn. Uh, that grammar is terrible. Whew. Uh, but that's a pretty powerful effect. And specifically, that's for Lumina right there. Like, holy crap. Even just a little bit of right milling, just summon back, you know, normal summon a level four or whatever. Special summon right from a graveyard. Right? There's a there's a sync eight right there. Or uh, the effects aren't negated. You just can't declare an attack with the monster. So you can use this to fill spell, special summon Lumina, pitch a light sword, and summon back right and bam, there's a Michael right there. So that's pretty powerful that every single turn you get to go ahead and just summon a level four lower light sword monster from your graveyard. Uh, that's that's very powerful. That's a very very powerful effect. And then the second effect reads: Return up to three spell or trap cards in your graveyard to the deck. Draw one card. It doesn't even say like any specifics or anything. So all of them, uh, them solar recharges or charge of light begins that you used and all of that, just return to your deck and then of course draw a card. Uh, so this card immediately. Uh, Get you your payback. You know, you activate it, which is generally when you activate Phil's spell, you take the neck, but it summons a monster from a graveyard, so that's a plus, so uh, that's even out. And you get to go ahead and return some spells and trap cards to the deck, which usually that wouldn't uh, build up any resources. Deck, for, I mean, graveyard back to deck, that's not resources. But then you get to draw a card, so then that's, of course, a plus, so that evens out as well. So immediate uh, payback, as long as uh, when you play it, it's actually proficient enough. But both of those effects are very powerful, especially putting them solar recharge and charge the light big gates back or right back in the deck. I just that's just whoo. And uh, it doesn't even really and the crazy thing is that it doesn't even specify. Like that's the crazy thing. It doesn't specify that it has to be light swarm related or a card that has light swarms in its name. So literally anybody can play this filled spell. Return three spells and traps back from the deck to I mean graveyard back to the deck and draw a card. Anybody. You could be playing this in Infernoids. You know, who play a couple of flights on cards, you can keep on summoning that right and back, milling more cards uh, for Infernoids. Or you can just, you know, take a couple of them uh, reasonings, put them back in the deck, shuffle them back, and then draw a card. Oh, there's reasoning again. So that's pretty powerful. It's pretty powerful. We have a card that's kind of similar. Uh, was it uh, Jar of Avarice? Where you, uh, it's not uh, target, what, five, five, what is it, three different monsters anymore, like Pot of Avarice. No, Pot of Avarice is just, just target five monsters in the graveyard, right? Yes. Jar of Avarice said five cards. So you could target spells and traps with Jar of Avarice, shuffle them back in, and draw a card. But this, this is just three spells and traps, so uh, you get this effect a little bit quicker than uh, Jar of Avarice. So, uh, not terrible, not terrible. It just has to be sp uh, spells and traps instead of just cards, period. So, but, yeah, it, it, it's a, it is a pretty powerful effect. So, uh, they only got uh, one reply. Well, I guess we can go ahead and read what the person, the creator, had to say. So, is that this card came about when I thought to myself, every archetype deserves a field spell that advances what it does. So I guess he knows about Roman Light, but he's like, it doesn't advance what it does, so fuck that card, I'll make my own. So I asked myself, what does a Light Sworn field spell need to do? Uh, the answer is work, <laughs> work with the fact that Light Sworn's mill cards to the same degree that Donald Trump blows money. 
I mean, that man's got a small loan of a million dollars. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> so I present to you some Delta and Lightstone, which recycles itself. Oh, yeah, it does. It does recycle itself. So if you're playing, uh, well, I guess with this first effect. But, yeah, if you have multiple, uh, if you're running multiple Cynodiles, and you play Cynodile, you can go ahead and talk about those Cynodiles, shuffle them back, and draw cards. So, yep. I recycle itself, as well as monster spells and traps. I wonder what people think of this card. Overwhelming. Is the monster effect too strong? Should I change the spell effect so it can add one spell or trap card in the graveyard to the hand instead? That would be even worse. That would be even worse. So once per turn, you can go ahead and target a spell or trap card in your graveyard and add to your hand? Holy shit, that's busted. Like, no. No. <laughs> All right. And then they got one reply that said, let's compare this card to the current with the light swords. All right. Not really much to compare, really. Uh, the one just gives the attack boost and protects itself. Not really what they had in mind. Uh, when they invented Light Swarms, or, and who really runs it. But the question is, is this card better? I would say most definitely yes. Uh, mill that Regeki and Double Reasoning, shuffle him back, mill this card, add to your hand, get right in uh, Torrental, summon him back. Uh, is this card overpowered? No, MST is a thing, uh, and this level restriction limits it. Uh, nice work, I really like this card. So it, it's a very powerful card, a very powerful card. It's just, I don't like that other decks can play it. That's my that's my problem. Uh, you know, you, the whole second effect. I kind of think that maybe you should say, like, return up the three spells or traps that have Light Sworn in their description back to the deck. Because at that point, anybody, you can just go ahead and target, you know, like that person said, Regeki's reasoning, uh, Soul Charges, whatever. You know, so, uh, Solemn Warning, Solemn Notices that you've already used. Put them back, shuffle, draw a card, and re-get them. So... Yeah, that, that's my problem. If it was just Light Storm related cards, if it's just like uh, Charger Life Brigade, Slow Recharge, that, uh, you know, that Judgment Dragon trap card, then it would just be a powerful card for Light Storm, specifically for Light Storms, and nothing else, nobody else. Which I guess would kind of suck because I'm not the biggest fan of Light Storms, but hey, if that's what you want to do, that's what you want to do. So, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and call that for Fake Card Hardy. So tell me what you guys think about Sending Zelda Light Storm. So, of course, I'll be back next Friday with another Fake Card to look at. Thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and uh, yeah. See you guys next Friday with another fake card to look at. Thanks for watching.